it's time to expose my Fortnite locker to all of you. Now before we begin, I just want to say I've played this game for quite some time. The very first time I played was December 2017. My brothers had told me to play this free to play game. I quite enjoy this game. I play with my girlfriend just about every single day if we have time. One of my brothers still plays this game. A couple of my friends jump on to play with me every now and then. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the video. So here are all my presets within the game. I'll go ahead and explain why they're organized in this way, but here's a quick skim through of what they are. Some skins I like more than others, but when I play, I just put my presets on shuffle. So every single life or every single game that I play, it's a nice different variety that I get to see on my screen. So let's go ahead and start with the big boy right here, Lightyear. I call him Lightyear because I used to watch Toy Story back in the day. Oh, I, I realize you guys might not be able to see everything. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Buzz Lightyear was one of my favorite characters as a kid. And he's star-themed, galaxy-themed. So, yeah. I did, in fact, spend over $1,000 on this skin. Let me go ahead and explain real quick. In order to get the galaxy skin, you had to have bought a galaxy phone. Well, my phone case is on it. Hold on. Okay, you can see it much better right there. I did, in fact, spend a lot of money for this one. Not the boat. I spent <laughs> I spent that much money to get this specific skin because I wanted to look cool. I don't know. I was playing the game a lot in 2018 and I thought it would be really neat if I had a skin that not many other players had. My phone is paid off now, so I don't have to worry about it and you can't get it anymore, so I can flex on all of y'all. Let me explain why I have them set up this way. The first 5 rows on my locker presets. They're all battle pass skins so once those seasons of fortnite come and go you can never get these skins again one of them is actually a twitch prime skin but yeah you can't get this either like it'll never come back i have the zoe skin from season four it's just an og skin i don't know i, I like the zoe design we have the wolf skin from season six he was a tier 100 battle pass skin i played a lot of fortnite during this time i think it's cool how sometimes he'll do this little like Wolf Snarl? Yeah, yeah, with his teeth right there. I think this skin is pretty unique. The next skin I have is the Anime Girl skin. I don't even really watch so much anime. My girlfriend has showed me a lot of Studio Ghibli movies, and I really like Studio Ghibli. She's also got this really cool transformation mode, but I, I don't think it matches my back item so much, so I, I usually just leave her normal. Next skin is the Visitor. He was the secret skin from Season 4. I like his little smiley face uh, helmet visor. And I also have some nice alien emotes to go with this skin. Alright, the next skin I have is Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. I like Rick and Morty a lot. I saw the rainbow style variant of Rick. And I was like, oh, I want that so bad. I had to be level like... 200 or 180 or 220 I, I really forget but I had to play a, a good amount of Fortnite during the alien season to uh, to get the skin the next skin I have is Laura Croft my father actually played Tomb Raider back in the day on the PS1 when I was growing up I think I have some nice items to go with her that fit her theme how many games have this type of skin or character you can play as i think it's pretty cool but yeah i have little kitten kit in his little robot suit with his little you know figure of himself i guess on his back i think it, i think it i think it matches we also have the cat surfboard to go with the whole set This is the next preset I have. I'm not too keen on this. Like, I don't, like, like the character. I think the outfit and the colors go well with each other. The back item, too. I just have an orange preset to go with uh, the best emote in the game. This is actually one of my favorite skins, the Apocalyptic Jonesy. I think it's pretty cool. I have a really nice pickaxe that fits his theme. And, of course, a good glider where he's saying, SOS, please send help. This is the customizable skin you could have back in Chapter 2, Season 2. She's like a military person. Yeah, there's not much to say, but this is how I customize my Maya character. 
The next skin I have is the fish, the cartoon fish. I love the cartoon fish. I think it's so cool. It reminds me of Kingdom Hearts 2 back in the day when you can play in the Steamboat Willy world of Kingdom Hearts or Mickey Mouse per se. I had to fish a lot of fish just to get this specific variant of colors. I think uh, his backpack goes well, glider, you know, the whole spiel. Like everything matches what this character I think personally should have in a preset. All right, next skin we have is the Omega skin. Yeah, this is an OG skin back in the day. You really had to play the game in season four to get this skin. I don't even have all the armor unlocked for the skin, which is pretty sad because like this variant looks way better in my opinion. I have some nice things like the pickaxe to go with it. Glider suits them perfectly. Even like the contrail I have for him, I think it fits pretty well. The engineer grill looks super badass. I have a nice back item from the spy season in chapter two, season two. We got the torch as well. Very nice pickaxe that I think fits our theme. And the OG high octane season three glider. Rift skin, I mean, come on, I had to include the rift skin. Got a nice back item, all this kind of lightning energy that goes all around his skin, I think looks really nice. We had to do a matching glider with the pink and yellow theme. This is my lifeguard skin. We got a nice popsicle on the back. We have a water pickaxe and a boat. Gotta have a boat glider for the lifeguard. Next preset we have is the Havoc skin, Twitch Prime skin. We have a nice backpack to match him. He's pretty simplistic. Like I'm, I'm not thrilled to play as him. Like he's not super out there, but since he's an OG skin, he's in my locker. Next skin is Tarana from the Primal season. I really didn't enjoy this season of Fortnite. I just have a lot of purple stuff in my locker that really suit a skin like her. She's also got dreadlocks, which is cool. I mean, this variant you had to unlock after level 100, but you know, you could see her hair way better like there. This skin's one of my favorites, actually. I'm not gonna lie. The banana skin. I love how even as you play, the banana will start to turn brown as time goes on. What more can you say? It's a giant banana in Fortnite. This is a space theme skin. So we got the space outfit. We also got the pickaxe. We also got a rocket ship to go along with it. We have so many space emotes that I can use. So like this character deserves their spot and this old skin from back in 2018. And I like space. When I was a child, Buzz Lightyear was a huge character for me. The customizable alien skin from uh, the alien season. I think he looks like me as an alien. I don't know. I mean, I definitely would have a beard. We got the nice Omega pickaxe to go with it. We got a Star Wars cape that fits him. We got some interesting alien emotes to go along with him. Next, we have the pirate preset. I actually read a book called Sea of Sorrows recently, and it was all about pirates within Guild Wars 2 and Lion's Arch. So this skin always reminds me of that book. We have a nice glider. It's not really pirate, it's more Viking, but nonetheless. And you gotta top it off with an emote to make sure your ship is all clean at the end of the day. So this one, Mandalorian, if you watch Star Wars, you probably know who this is. If you don't watch Star Wars, then you probably don't know who this is. Um, yeah, it's a Star Wars skin. I really like Star Wars. I watch The Mandalorian. I think it's a really good series. All right, this skin here reminds me of beginning of the pandemic 2020. We were playing a lot of Fortnite back then because we had really nothing else to do. So the Golden Cat skin was definitely a flex to get back in the day. You had to get it. I think I had to get level 220 240 was like the highest level i had ever reached in a season because i had played so much fortnite if you want to know my crowns right now that's how many i have it's not a ton i don't think a flex nonetheless <laughs> This skin reminds me of Majora's Mask simply because of the purple mask. I have a nice backpack to go along with it. Depending on what kind of mask this character will have, I'll probably change it to match the mask on the back. She's like a thief, I guess, according to what I've read in the description. So we got the painting she's stolen. I don't know. This is like the story I've made up for this preset. We have a space monkey as our next preset. I like space, okay? So there's going to be quite a bit of space stuff in my presets. Uh, it's a gold variant, so I had to play quite a bit of Fortnite back then to get this variant. I barely got it. I didn't even redeem it. Like, the season ended, and the game automatically spent the battle pass points on whatever skins it was. But the game luckily ended up redeeming it on the monkey, so that was really nice. Just some gold stuff to go along with him. 
He's a gold monkey. I don't know. All right, so we have Powder from Season 7. To be honest with you, I don't really like this skin, but I have so many different snow-themed items within my locker. So I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and give her a little snow preset. Give her a snowball to throw, some snow falling. And it feels really weird when I'm running around a desert in this skin. Next, we got Spider-Man right here. I have him with Captain America's shield. If you've ever seen Captain America Civil War, Spider-Man ends up stealing Cap's shield for just a little bit. It's Spinaman. Kana ano. This is what you get. Purple Cube Girl. She's kind of cool. She reminds me of like a character who would be in a Studio Ghibli movie. Some nice cube emotes for her. Yeah, that's, that's this skin. I have made this guy a preset and then I've removed him because I'm like, ah, I don't know. But then this jetpack came out for Boba Fett and I was like, who could really fit this well? And I think it fits Agent Jones quite well because of the armor he's wearing in the front. So moving past this are all the item shop skins. This right here is my hippie skin. I used to wear the hippie skin a lot back in the day. I have unicorn flakes on the back because I ended up going to a festival last summer. Me and my girlfriend, we had this cereal we had bought at the store, I don't know, and we ended up eating this cereal one morning for breakfast. So uh, if it's uh, that story of uh, when I was at the festival and I ate uh, unicorn flakes. <laughs> The sleep skin is so cool. I haven't watched much Adventure Time, but I think it fits this kind of art style of like Adventure Time. I usually wear this skin if I'm about to log off and this will be my last match before I, I head to sleep. The stonk skin, you gotta have a stonk skin. Specifically, if you're working, you know, you gotta wear the stonk skin Monday to Fridays. It's an essential thing to do. We got the John Wick pickaxe to go along with him and he's all money themed. So we got tons of money. He's even got money on his back. I guess he robbed the bank or something. I don't know. I got this skin specifically because of the dreadlocks. I think when I put my hair up like this, this is kind of what I look like. It's even got the like similar headphones, if you can tell. I don't know. A little bit similar. She's got spray cans on her side, so I don't have a lot of emotes for her. I just have a lot of sprays. I have one emote actually equipped for her. This is the tree skin. My girlfriend actually gifted this skin to me. I troubled to find a back item, but this back item I think fits perfectly with the flowers all over the place. Got a nice pink lighter to go along with it. Gotta have some tree emotes. Believe it or not, this is the very first skin I ever bought in the game, specifically because he has this striped shirt and I thought he reminded me of like a mime. I know he's a robber, but uh, yeah, you know, he, he robbed a bank, but it's actually waffles. I don't know. <laughs> Ray from Star Wars, we got Baby Yoda in the back because why not? Her staff because it fits her. The uh, X-Wing and we have Lightning because, uh, well, I don't want to spoil the movie, but uh, it makes sense. If you've watched the movie, you'll know why I picked this as her uh, contrail. To follow up Ray, we have Kylo Ren. We got his ship to go along with it. We have a little nice red blade. You know, there's no lightsabers as a pickaxe. The sword works perfectly fine, I think. And uh, this OG back bling, it's space theme, so I think it fits Kylo quite well. Gotta have the Stormtrooper skin as well. We have some nice space themed glider and even a contrail, I guess. And the best part about it is the pickaxe. Boba Fett skin, which recently came out in the item shop. I'm actually currently watching the show. I like the series thus far, but I like Star Wars, so maybe there's a, a little bit of a favoritism there. We have the nice rust bucket item. I think these pickaxes match his color scheme, so I, I went with that. I've never played League of Legends at all. It's kind of crazy that I have this skin in my locker, but the Arcane show on Netflix is so good. It's super good. I went with a little red theme for her and make sure we have some emotes to beat up everyone because she's a fighter. You also have to have Jinx, a little nice purple and blue theme for her. I actually made this character a replica in Guild Wars 2. Really, the show, Arcane, on Netflix, I, I have never played League of Legends, but the show itself is so good. You don't need to know anything about League. I can highly recommend you watching it if you enjoy good animation with great story and characters. 
Ugh, this skin. <laughs> I don't really know why I bought this skin. I think he came with a nice cape, so I bought him for that reason. If I could refund the skin, I would definitely refund this skin. But nonetheless, since I have bought him, I have some nice items that could go with him. You know, we got the guitar. We got a nice glider to match his theme. A good spray, I think, as well. I don't think anyone wears this skin in the game whatsoever. The Toon Cat is super cool. I love Steamboat Willie, specifically when I was playing in Kingdom Hearts 2. I have some nice back items from Chapter 2 Season 7 or 8, I believe, with the cartoon fish. So a lot of the cartoon fish stuff I put on, on the cat. We have some nice emotes that fit his theme. This skin is 100% Elsa from Frozen. I think it was so funny that she ended up in the item shop. Got some nice ice items to fit her. A little snowman on her back. It's knockoff Elsa. This skin is so cute. Iconic for Fortnite. A lot of people know what this skin is. It's the Bush Ranger. My girlfriend loves to play as this skin, and she wore it so many times that it has grown on me. So when it came back to the item shop, I, of course, had to nab it for myself. Yeah, we got some nice tree items to go along with it. Easy to hide in bushes. You know, got to do the bush strategy. A lot of people, when they view this skin, they might think it's a Halloween skin, but it's actually the origin of it is from Saturday Night Live. I ended up buying it because of that, because I'm aware of the SNL skit. Got a nice pumpkin theme, contrail and pickaxe, you know, Halloween glider. That's about it. I don't know why I bought this skin, to be honest with you. I think it was because of the snowman back item I wanted. I would refund the skin if I could. You know, I have a lot of snow items, so we got the... Nice glider, it's perfect for the snowman. We got the nice pickaxes to go along with it. And a little different snowman backpack from a, a different holiday season. And the best part is the crying emote just means he's melting. The mushroom skin. This skin looks awesome. This skin was leaked in the game like way back then, like in 2020 or 2021, I'm not sure. But so many people were like, where's the skin? And it wasn't in the game or put in the item shop for so, so long. Purple blue theme. We got a nice galaxy pickaxe for him. Good glider that matches his theme. Yeah, great skin epic. I actually had a job one point in my life where I was dressing up as superhero characters and we would go to children's birthday parties or events because parents or families, they would book certain characters through this company I was working for when I was living in New York. There were a couple times I had to dress up as Captain America, so I think he deserves a spot in my locker. And he's one of my favorite Avengers characters while watching the movies. I think he's pretty cool. Oh, also, we got a really nice glider to go with him. Oh jeez, Rick. I I don't I don't know, Rick. Oh jeez. I don't think my Morty impression's super good. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, the one thing I don't like about this skin is his head clips through the back item and it's so annoying like if i have it like this it's still just a little bit now i don't know in game when i'm like aiming with a gun it, it might not be that's the only thing that bothers me about this skin is this like small clip through thing and i think the contrail matches him quite well because uh it looks like the portals from rick and morty Last but not least, I have this blue spirit skin is what I call it. I don't really know why I bought the skin. I would refund it. I am not too keen on it. I have a really nice back item that I think fits him well. Hammer doesn't really go well. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I would probably change it to this blue spear right now, but I don't actually have it yet. So once I unlock it, I'll probably go with that because that's more like tribal like feathers. And that covers all the presets I have saved within Fortnite. Have I spent too much money on this game? Yes. Should I stop spending money on this game? Probably. Will I? Bruh. The future will only tell. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, stay hydrated, gamers.